Welcome back, bitches. So I just went through mental pain getting these pistols platinum. And here's how to do it. You need 15 long shots with each gun. And the pistols in this game are the PA-90, the Deagle, the X-12, the Basilisk, and the X-13 Auto. And you might think that tier 1 is the way to go. But honestly, Shootout is a, it's still a pretty good map for long shots for the pistols at least. Also, f*** tier one tier one is not hardcore i don't know what they did to it shame they changed hardcore mode to that bs but anyway so here in shoot house the best modes that i found were uh domination and hardpoint if you get modes like tdm and kill confirm you can just level up another gun and leave your uh, pistols as your secondary and if you see a chance for you to get a long shot then you take it domination and hardpoint are the best ones for long shots anyway now when you get hardpoint these are the best long shot spots in shoot house for the pistols at least and no i'm not talking about the mid wall. All right, so for the long shot spot for shoot house, when the hard point is right here or even over there, it's pre-ADS this side right here. And people will go through this gap if the hard point is right here. And if you get a kill from there, that's a long shot. Same thing right here. When the hard point is in this area and you pre-ADS right here, any kill you get from this range, that's gonna be a long shot. Or even here as well, if you get a kill right where my teammate is, that's also a long shot for the pistols. I think it's like 10 meters or 15 meters. I think it's 15 meters minimum. That was 31 meters, but I mean, anyway. If you want to go to the mid wall, they have to be at least on this box right here for it to be a long shot. You can also do it in this opposite spot. If the other team has a hard point over there and you just lay here, any kill you get from this area is going to be a long shot. I really don't recommend for anyone to be on the wall for the long shots for the pistols because there's always going to be someone over here with an AR or a sniper and you're obviously going to lose that fight like regardless, especially with like the weaker pistols like the X-12 or the X-13. The Deagle and the Basilisk are going to have no issue getting long shots on the mid wall. There you go. So the first gun that I did was the PA-90. Now, if you've been playing Warzone, you probably know that this gun has been kind of a problem. Now, this gun is really strong up close. It's a two-shot. But its damage falls at range, kind of. So you'll either have to spam it and hopefully get a kill or take your time with each shot. So 15 long shots with this gun. I mean, eh, it's not going to be quick, but it's definitely not going to be slow. Now, I use this build specifically for range. The FT still fire for the suppressor, tune for ADS speed and bullet velocity. Rico smoothness tuning does absolutely nothing for the gun. I think exclusive Ace or true game data found out that Rico smoothness does absolutely nothing. So don't, don't even bother. The Bruin Express trigger for faster fire rate, tune for ADS speed and sprint to fire speed. The FJX laser for ADS speed and sprint to fire speed, the 12 round mag, and finally the FJX grip for recoil control. Tune for recoil steadiness and sprint to fire speed. I got plaid with this class, so if it works for me, it'll definitely work for you. Now with the Deagle, however, this is the complete opposite of the PA-90. It's a one shot to the head, two shots up close, two shots mid range, and I think three shots to this guy right here. Yeah. But long shot range for the pistols is this guy right here. So long shots with this gun are just extremely easy. Now for the build, I use the EXF50 muzzle, the last barrel, the Tyrant 50, the SA hair trigger for the faster fire rate, again the FJX laser for ADS speed, and the 13 round mag. The tuning will remain the same with the other pistols. Now the reason why I put the trigger on it was mainly because I had a slot available. And also since this is a two shot, you want to get the kill as quick as possible and not give them time to back up once they got shot once. Which by the way, I don't know what happened to the people that play shootouts now. Back Back in MW 2019, the long shots were so easy because people didn't hide if they got shot once. Like, f you, I'm still gonna challenge you. Zero brain activity. And you'll, you'll get them done like super quick. But now I see dudes that they get shot once and they're like, oh no, I can't die. If I die, my KD is gonna drop and I won't get signed by Optic. By the way, if you play shootouts and you think that people care about your KD, you're fing delusional. So stop hiding and chow. Holy sh. <clears throat> Sorry, I got off topic, but anyway. So yeah, the Deagle is a two-shot no matter what the range is, unless it's like super far away like this guy right here. The fast trigger will help you to secure the long shot as soon as you spot the player. You'll, you'll finish the Deagle probably in one game. Now for the X-12, I genuinely thought that I was going to have a hard time with this one. And it was I thought it was probably the worst and the weakest gun in the game. For long shots, at least. I thought it was going to be terrible. But if you build it like this, the XRK barrel, the XRK trigger for faster fire rate, the 50 round mag, the f tag grip for recoil control, and the only stock that this pistol has. And you tune it for recoil control and damage range. Once you build it like this, this shit, and I'm sorry if I sound like a typical Warzone TikToker, has Absolutely zero recoil. You can spam the shit out of it and still not gonna move.
By the way, I haven't reloaded once. 50 round mag, baby! And whatever you do, do not put a suppressor on it, cuz... I, 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 I can't see what I'm shooting at. Go to the same spots in shootout that I showed in the beginning. The damage is weak compared to the deagle, but you can spam it really fast. So it'll be kind of easy to get these done. It took me like a game or two. But yeah, use this class. It's, it's, it's great for long shots. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, moving on. Now the Basilisk. This is pretty much like the deagle, if not better. I'm not gonna repeat myself. Just build it like this. 10.5 barrel, the Bryson trigger, the Bryson grip, the Corvus laser, and just because I have a slot, the FSS muzzle. Go to the same spots in shootout and do the exact exact same thing that you did with the deagle this also kills at two shots to the body by the way now this will be a long shot range for the pistol and far away it's also two shots so i mean yeah it's better than the deagle actually never mind again repeat exactly what you did with the deagle and you'll get it done in like one game and finally the x13 this shit <sighs> tier one is actually a must for this one i tried using it on shoot house and just Ugh. Even though I build it like this for the best recoil control, tuning and everything, its recoil is pretty easy to manage. But the damage range is kind of weak. And the people I was shooting at for long shots had 74 use, TAC 56, and so on and so on. And this gun will lose 90% of the time. So tier 1 for this is a must, in my opinion at least. And the best long shot maps for tier 1, Embassy, and Hotel. If you go to this spot right here, you can mount it. Any kill in this range right here, that's a long shot. And I think if they're in this spot right here near the trees, that's also a long shot for the pistols. If you kill anyone right here, that's a long shot. Now on the opposite side, same thing. Go right here, mount. That's a long shot. If you play tier 1 hard point, there's always going to be a point right here. You can stand behind the car. If you kill anyone in the point, that's still going to be a long shot. The problem with tier 1 is that when you get a long shot, it doesn't show in the screen that you got it. Like, it, it, you just get the kill. Pretty much have to guess maybe you got a long shot or not. Just to be safe, you know, stand as far away as possible from whoever you're shooting at. And if you get the kill, it's definitely a long shot. Now, hotel, there's really only one good spot if you spawn in the right area, which is right here. You go over here in tier 1, you can mount it if you want overlooking p1 if you get a kill right here that's a long shot that's a long shot and even people in the point as well if you get a kill on this area right here that's a long shot that's a long shot i don't think people standing behind this cover is considered a long shot so maybe don't really waste your time getting those kills it's not worth it and that'll do it i've genuinely thought i was gonna have a hard time getting the long shots for the pistols i even considered waiting till shipment to do these but it wasn't that bad use the builds that it gave you for the long shots and you'll get them done in like no time but anyway i hope this helped if it did leave a like in the video and consider subscribing it'll really help out but yeah that's it i'll see you later peace bitches